Okay boys and girls, this art lesson is focusing on the Tree of Life by Gustav Klimt. Now what you need is a piece of paper, construction paper, and write your name on the back. So I'm going to write my name, Mrs D. Turn it over. Okay, so you've got a clean piece of paper. Now you're going to get watered down glue. So it's white glue with a bit of water and a brush. Now what I want you to do is just lightly brush a section at a time and you've got tissue paper squares and you're going to layer the tissue paper you use your brush to smooth it down okay so we don't want them sitting up when you layer you'll find that you can change colors so when I put these colors on top of each other they actually change so you've got the true color and then a new color when they overlap so I'm going to just build that up can you see how I'm doing this? I'm doing a little bit of glue on the construction paper, then the tissue paper. It catches the glue. I don't have to get my fingers wet or dirty at all with this glue. I just brush it, set it down, brush it again, and I'm totally dry. You can do the same. When you have it done, this is what I'm looking for. So that you've got it, you don't have to fill all around the edges, but this is a background, okay? So background, and you can see there what I'm talking about when you overlap. I did black and I put white over it, turned grey and I put pink and the yellow over the pink turned orange. So we're getting these new colours. What we're doing is creating the tree. And it's a very simple project for um, Gustav Klimt. Then you're going to get a, a palette with just black paint on it. Okay, this is only part one of your project. There'll be another part to this. When you brush you're going to create a giant Y. So I'm going to draw a straight vertical line up and down and then I'm going to do a V on the top so there's my big Y, okay? So what I've gone and done now here is I've got a trunk and two broad brushes. Now I'm going to bring this around. You can do it your own way but I always think that these look like ram's horns when I do it like this. So I bring these ram horns around like so. And just like Gustav Klimt's tree, it's all full of swirls and spirals. So I'm just going to keep spiraling out from these branches. So imagine sort of like rolling ram horns or snail shells that have those lovely curls in them. Okay. Then you're going to do the same on the bottom for the roots bring it around and make some roots. Now if you want you can get a, a finer brush which I would recommend and you can do smaller and finer spirals okay so that you can see from the example from the PowerPoint just how tiny and fine the spirals can be so you can add smaller ones for detail and this is part one of your Gustav Klimt Tree of Life. When we've got this finished, we're going to then add some additional detail. Because remember that his tree had a lot of symbolism to it. He used a lot of shape and colour, geometric shapes. Okay, boys and girls, now it's your turn. Let's go and make some art.